Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm going to showcase how many golf clubs you really should be playing in your golf bag. Just because you can have 14 golf clubs in your bag doesn't mean that you have to have 14 clubs. Now keep that in mind because golf clubs definitely can get on the pricier side, especially if you're going for a brand new custom order fitting. A lot of people get kind of swayed away from that because they think oh, I'm going to be spending two, three thousand dollars on clubs. Well the reality is if you have a slower swing speed you may not just have to have all those golf clubs in your bag. So the importance to focus on is gapping. So for a higher swing speed golfer like myself I need to have adequate gapping throughout the bag. So there's a reason why I need 14 golf clubs in my bag. So for today's test, I'm going to go through my bag and I'm going to hit three or four shots with each club. I'm going to talk about gapping. Then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to slow my swing speed down. And then I may even skip a club. I may hit like a nine iron, then a seven iron, then a five iron. And just show that there still is adequate gapping with just those clubs when I slow my swing speed down. Let's hit some shots and talk about gapping. Just to showcase the importance of gapping, we've stopped here after I've hit my first six clubs. Now I've hit three shots with every club from my 60 degree wedge all the way up to my eight iron. You will notice how I have about a 12 to 15 yard gap between each club. It's important to have a nice consistent gap. Now it doesn't have to be 12 to 15 yards. If you have a slower swing speed, I'm gonna anticipate that it will be a little bit less than 12 to 15 yards. But if you're only seeing maybe a three or four yard gap between some clubs, that's where we may want to assess and say, hey, maybe you don't need to play that eight iron. You maybe can just go from a nine iron to a seven iron. But the important thing is we want to showcase gapping. We can take a look on the right here. You can see how those circles are pretty similar with regards to separation apart. I mentioned about 12 to 15 yards. My carry distances there were very, very consistent through the bag. I'm going to continue on here next. So the reason why I stopped initially is the shorter clubs are a little easier to hit. Once you get to the longer clubs, that's when you might start to see those gaps shrink a little bit closer. And that's when the conversation comes up with regards to whether you should be playing a hybrid or maybe an iron. A hybrid would be a great chance for you to help to continue on with your gapping on those longer clubs if you don't maybe have as much club speed. Okay, so I've just hit all the clubs in my bag, minus my potter, that would be the 14th club. But you'll notice how, as we look, as we work our way up the screen here, there is separation with regards to all these circles, all these dispersion circles, which is what we want to see in our bag. So a player with my swing speed, I need to have 14 golf clubs in my bag so I can generate adequate gapping, so I can swing the same way, just with a different golf club, and have that ball go a little different distance every single time. So, Kind of interesting as we hit these shots, it's kind of interesting how the circles got, went from smaller, they got kind of larger and larger and larger as they went further up the screen. That is because when you're hitting the ball further, it is harder to hit the ball straighter. So I didn't take out really any miss hits at all, this was just kind of showcasing how the dispersion pattern got a little bit wider. Just wanted to showcase my gapping distances with my normal full swing speed. Now I'm going to hit some shots with a much slower speed. So I mentioned, there's no need for me to hit every single club, so I will probably skip some clubs. Maybe I'll do like a, a nine iron, then a seven iron, then a five iron. I'll skip those other clubs, because if I'm gonna swing at a much slower speed, those circles might be very close to being on top of each other. And that's why it's import important to recommend to golfers that, hey, you don't always have to have 14 golf clubs in your bag. Let's hit some slower swing speed shots.
So instead of hitting the three iron, I actually grabbed a three hybrid because I wanted to showcase the level of forgiveness and how hybrids designed to maybe fly a little, little bit higher and help separate that gapping there too. But I do have my three wood here. I'm going to say it right now with the slower club speed. I'm not going to hit this very good. It's not going to be very good shots. It's going to go very, very low. But let's hit it and let's talk about why I would maybe consider something else with a little bit more loft. Finally, before we take a look at all the data comparing the faster swing speed and the slower swing speed, I'm going to hit my driver. So my driver right now, because my attack angle with my high club speed is set at 8 degrees of loft on it. Um, so 8 degrees of loft with not much speed is, we're going to find out. It's not going to be very good. It's not going to be very, very low, kind of like the three wood was. And we'll talk about the three wood and the driver and why we want to have a little more loft. But I'll hit it. But it's just, like I said, it's probably not going to be very pretty with these woods because the lofts are not perfect. Okay, so I slowed my swing speed down. Slowed my swing speed down to a pretty, pretty slow golf swing here. Um, but it's kind of interesting, the clubs that had more loft on them, so like the 60 degree, the 52, the 9 iron, and the 7 iron, we noticed there was still a decent gapping of around about 13 to 20 yards per club. So if you look on the right, notice how those circles were nicely spaced apart. Then we kind of hit a bit of a, a stop. We'll notice with the 5 iron, the 5 iron wasn't too much further apart than the 7 iron. So that would be a good conversation to have with your club fitter about possibly playing a hybrid instead of maybe a 6 iron or, or a 5 iron. I actually switched to a three hybrid instead of a three iron for that exact same reason. There was no way that I could possibly hit my three iron and get it in the air with slow speed, so we need loft. Loft is our friend to get the ball in the air. We also need technology that has the center of gravity position to help get the ball up in the air a little bit there as well. And that's why a hybrid over a long iron is always a good option there too. But touching on the dispersion, you will notice we had about a 12 to 20 yard gap when I skipped the club. So I did not hit my sand wedge, I did not hit my pitching wedge, I didn't hit my 8 iron or my 6 iron. I went every other. So notice how the gapping, very, very similar to what my gapping is with every single club. So as I mentioned, we don't have to have every single club in the bag. Maybe add maybe one more wedge in there would have been a good option because wedges are your scoring clubs. But I don't, definitely don't need, see the need to have like an 8 iron in that, in that bag, for, for example. So maybe you'd have 3 wedges, 9 iron, 8 iron, 7 iron, skip the 6 iron, have a 5 hybrid, and kind of help with the gapping there too. Because that's just showcasing that the clubs are going to do the same thing. Speaking of clubs doing the same thing, once we started getting to the longer clubs, we definitely noticed that with the slower swing speed. So notice how these circles start getting really, really tight together. Now that is total distance. So notice how the uh, three hybrid, the three wood and the driver, were all going about the same diff distance. That's because, as I mentioned, this driver that I'm playing right now only has eight degrees aloft. If we had a driver that had 12 or 13 degrees aloft on it for a player that has swing speed similar to how fast I was swinging this driver, it's going to carry a little bit further. It's going to get that launch angle up a little bit, and the ball is going to go a little bit further. I also mentioned that my three wood I was hitting off the ground. I said it was going to be trouble. It wasn't going to hit as well. Well, you can notice how the three wood, the three hybrid, and the driver are doing the same thing, and that is because the height. We actually noticed that the three wood actually carried the same distance as my seven iron and my five iron. My seven iron carried 120. 5 iron carried 126, and then the 3 wood carried 123. If we look at the hybrid, the hybrid actually carried on average about 15 yards further because it's got more loft on it. More loft on it for a golfer that swings a little bit slower is definitely going to help. We'll notice the 3 hybrid carried 141 yards, so there's a huge, huge difference. So with slower swing speed, you will notice that we need help with height. So height and landing angle. So yes, the ball was maybe rolling out a little bit further with a couple of clubs, 
but it wasn't carrying further as we were showcasing over here on the, on the right. So carry distance is definitely important. More loft is gonna get you to get the ball to fly a little higher. It's also gonna get the ball a chance to maybe land a little bit steeper on, on the green as well, which is kind of really important. But if I had a player come in that had swing speed, there is no way that I would tell them, hey, we need to get you a full set of golf clubs. We need to get 14 golf clubs, brand new. We need to get three iron, four iron, five iron. This, this just doesn't make sense. We would want to make sure that you walk out the door with maybe eight or nine clubs instead of having all 14. You can enjoy the game, you're still going to see gapping, and you're not going to use those longer irons anyway because it's just going to be hard to hit there as well. And it's, it's going to save you money. One thing that also is really nice with uh, fitting at second swing is we do custom fit and we don't have to order a stock set per se so we can order whatever club we want if we want to skip the six iron we can skip the six iron we order that in we get the the five iron the seven iron the nine iron and we can work on gapping that way there too so it is important to work with a club fitter to ask how many clubs really should I play if you don't have much swing speed you don't have to have 14 golf clubs in your bag so if we're going to compare my distances with my full swing speed, my faster swing speed, compared to the slower speed that I was swinging, you will notice if you look at the two different dispersion patterns that on the clubs that have more loft on them, that there was still good separation with the slower speed. If you look at the other side, you'll notice that the fuller swing speeds, so the faster swing speeds, you notice how there was a consistent gapping all the way through. If we look at the slower swing speed, we notice how those circles start getting very, very close together and almost doing the exact same thing. And that's when you should definitely reassess possibly playing a different golf club in your bag to really help offset the gapping issues and to really try and gap out the clubs as far as you can. There's no point having two, three golf clubs in your bag that do the exact same thing. So it's important to make sure that you get fit figure out which clubs you may need to drop or maybe which clubs you need to adjust to kind of help with regards to your gapping out on the golf course. So it's very important to consider how many golf clubs that you should have in your bag. At Second Swing, our fitters online and in our store can definitely help you to figure out what clubs that you should change, what, sh what clubs that you maybe need don't even need in your golf bag. Because let's face it, if we have clubs that do the exact same thing, they're really just going for a ride in your golf bag. They're not really being hit as much. Uh, so there's no point in even trying to carry it around on the golf course. I really hope you enjoy this content. Once again, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for other great content.